Welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new episode for you here today and we have something very interesting to show you which may help a few of you like Champions League players, Masters League, maybe even some Titans League players out. So what we're going to do for you today, we're going to be like a little guinea pig and I've built a base, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this base but I built this base about 48 hours ago and I've kind of been testing it to see if the golems are going to fail against this base. Now what we're going to do, we're going to show you some defensive replays and we're going to see what actually happens when the golems attack the base, when you put all of your tethers, the big bombs and that sort of stuff on the outside. Are the golems going to get distracted or are they still going to open a can of wood pass on Tony and take my base down? Let's find out right now guys, making our way into the first raid. Don't forget to smash that like button down below if you do enjoy this episode. Let's say, can we hit a thousand likes on this guys? Come on, let's get a thousand likes. Let's make our way into defense number one. So first defense coming up, and this is very interesting. Now, I've seen this one, and um, I'm going to tell you straight up, guys, we do lose. We do lose this defense, but it is very damn interesting. Now, if we just quickly pause it, you can see he's got quite a few golems. Max level hero is pretty much. The only thing that's not max is the Grand Warden. So let's get into the raid. What he's going to do is, he's going to do it. Hold on, hold on. I forgot to tell you. The reason why I put the Tezzas on this side of the base is quite simply because I've got the Eagle Artillery, the Dark Elixir, and the Clan Castle on this side. So hopefully they're going to get kind of drawn in by that. And look at that, it works straight away. So the golems got distracted, and now that's perfect. The second Tesla has just come up as well. The big bombs are going to go off very shortly and do a lot of damage to the Hog Rider. So you can see he is already suffering a large amount of loss in troops here. The first golem's already been taken out, and now the second golem and the third golem have been distracted. So it's worked pretty damn well. Little bombs have gone off and killed all of the wall breakers. I mean, he's had to drop in his fourth golem. I don't think he even wanted to use that. I think he was saving that maybe for defense or maybe for the next raid. But he's had to drop that in. So look, I mean, the actual trap worked so damn well. But unfortunately, these level 40 heroes are just way too much for this side of the base to be able to handle. So he's dropped in the rage spell. He's used the first free spell. He actually uses five spells on this base. I mean, in all honesty, guys, it's not the hardest base to take down. It's pretty damn easy, but the Golem track really does work. I mean, it honestly does work. You can see the Expos are now tearing the Golems and the King into pieces. Unfortunately, he just had too many spells, guys. Too many Rage spells, too many Free spells, and he's made his way into the center of the base. Now, I think I had a Defending Clan Castle. He dropped a Free spell on it, I believe. So his level 40 King and that level 40 Queen are really damn strong. And in all honesty, he would have got a much higher percentage, I'm feeling, if I didn't put those Teslas on the outside of the base. So I would say, so far inside of this raid, I would say that it's proven to be quite successful, although we are going to lose by a two-star. As I said, we do lose by a two-star, guys, but I honestly thought that it was pretty damn successful. So I would say if you guys are like a Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, I wouldn't obviously say Town Hall 7, I would say at least Town Hall 8, then this could work pretty damn well for you. Now, it's going to really work well inside of the Masters League where a lot of people start to use golems to attack with because inside of the Masters League uh, and above I would say Masters, Champions, Titans and of course I mean Titans, Legends League, all of those sorts of leagues every single person, 90% of the attackers are using golems guys very few actually use air attacks now I was attacked by an air attack and they did two star the base but of course it's a golem trap it's not a lava hound trap so it doesn't really work well with lava hounds so he's dropped a couple of last giants on the right hand side of the base. We're going to go double speed now guys. You can see the king and the grand warden, sorry the queen and the grand warden are getting taken out. And that is where the raid ends. He's got two giants left. He doesn't use them. So he got a total percentage of 58% and took eight trophies from me, Tony. Now in all honesty, as I said, not really the worst defense. I would say it was pretty damn decent. He is a Titans League player. Well done. Shout out to Hayden Farm if you are watching this. He got quite a lot of my Dark Elixir. Kind of pissed me off a little bit there, Hayden, you little shit. But don't worry, guys. Let's make our way into the second defense. So if you've made it this far into the episode so far, guys, comment down below, hashtag the Golem Trap. Is it going to work in the second defense? So you can see a very similar army, except the heroes are quite a lot lower level. Let's just see where he's going to attack from. So he's, he's got a very similar attack strategy. He's used Earthquake spells instead of Jump spells, except this time he's only got one free spell. But he's attacking from the left-hand side of the base, so it doesn't look like any of the Teslas over there are going to get activated, which is very unfortunate. So you can see the... Oh, there we go. Big bomb goes off. Yes, it worked. It worked so damn well. They got about three or four Harry Potters and quite a few wall breakers. The Eagle Artillery is about to drop a heavy bomb on those giants there. There we go. They're all bunched up together. Absolutely beautiful. That is what I like to see. And they've dropped a Poison spell, a Rage spell, and a Freeze spell. It's a treble, baby. All on my Golem. 
my Eagle Artillery. The single target Inferno Tower isn't enough to hold off these troops. We needed a multi target Inferno Tower to be able to deal with the Giants. Unfortunately, I had two single target Inferno Towers. You can see the defending Golem has just gone down there again, guys. And unfortunately, obviously, that side of the base wasn't activated. So it looks like we are going to be losing by a two star here once again. I would say, honestly, once again, that it worked quite well. Obviously, you're, you're taking a risk. Putting your Teslas and your big bombs on the outside of the base is a very big risk, guys. But at the end of the day, you want to try and take out as many wizards, as many witches, as many smaller troops as you can with the big bombs. And using the Teslas to distract the giants and the golems is quite a good strategy. Obviously, it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. You can see in these two cases, the first case, I would say it worked slightly. But the second case, it didn't really work too well. And we've kind of lost, guys. Two defenses in a row that we've lost, but that doesn't really make a change. We lose nearly every defense up here inside of the Champions 1 League anyway. So unfortunately, that guy actually managed to win 20 trophies from me. I must have been a 30 trophy offer, which was quite unfortunate for me because I haven't really lost 20 trophies. And let's see how long, actually. Haven't lost 20 trophies in a very, very... Oh, 20 set. Oh, that was winning a defense. Haven't lost 20 trophies in a very long time. You can see the defense log, though, guys, is mostly red. We get the odd win. That win was actually a fantastic... Oh, no, not that one. Where is it? That was 35 trophies. That is beautiful. That win. Where is it? That win there was a fantastic win. Look at that. Completely maxed out army, and he failed on my base. That wasn't this base, obviously. That was another one. So if you've made it this far into the episode, don't forget to comment down below. Hashtag the Golem Trap. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. We've just surpassed 225k subs. If this is the first time you are seeing this, and smash that like button. So I wanted to show you an attack that I done very, very what? Well, what was it about? About half an hour ago. I wanted to show you this attack because it is one of the first three-star attacks I've had inside of the Champions League. So let's get ourselves into that. So here we go guys, we're making our way into the attack. Now I will say I did not expect a 3 star this base. I didn't even set out to 3 star it, it just kind of happened. Like I know the best things in life just happen randomly apparently. Well that's what my mum tells me anyway guys, I don't know if she's right or not. So we're going to actually move into this base. Now what we're going to do, it's going to be a very slow start to the attack. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use the Hulk Riders, draw that clan castle. Let's just go quad speed here until that CC dies. So there we go, see you later Harrys. Boom, you dead boys, you dead. So we're going to use the rest of the wall breakers. Now we've got four wall breakers and it takes two to take down these walls. So we need to take two on there and two on there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to drop a giant, uh, a couple of giants in. And then we are going to move in for the full scale attack. Now we've got 21 wizards, two giants, sorry, uh, 11 giants left, two golems. I'm not quite sure what's inside of the CC. I think there's some wizards. we got all three heroes, of course, two raid spells, one free spell and the poison. So there we go, the first two wall breakers have just gone in and now let's go double speed. I believe it takes a while to drop in the troops. There we go, two golems went in first. You can see we're going to go in with the giants just behind and loads of the little Harry Potters. We are then going to move in with the wall breakers. My bad guys, I don't actually use the clan castle inside of here. So we three star this base and I didn't even need to use the clan castle. Now of course it's not a maxed out town or 10, but for the army I'm using, it's not a three star army. So I'm not quite sure how I managed to three star the base. Obviously, I use the spells at the perfect placement time, guys. And, of course, the Inferno Towers were set to single, which is very beneficiary to me when I've got a load of Harry Potters and a load of Giants running around the base. And one other thing that went perfectly, guys, I used the Grand Warden very well. He went right into the center, provided every single one of my troops with a little boost of health. And also, some troops, some Golems and Giants went that way. Some went to the left, and then some also went into the center with a King. So it was like literally the perfect attack, the actual AI of the game went absolutely beautifully, it went perfectly and I could not have complained and at this point I was thinking oh my god am I going to get a 3 star on this base, I was legit thinking that guys, I was worrying because I didn't really want to place down my clan car so we got one little cheeky Harry Potter over there finishing off the last few buildings but I could see straight from here guys, they've got one two archer towers left and a single cannon and a wizard tower, wizard oh Harry Potter's flying off the screen, wizard tower's not really going to do anything to the golem. So I knew at this point we had our three star in the bag and of course the Queen's ability hasn't even been used yet. One of the most successful random raids I've had for a very long time. One of the most, um, I didn't even expect it as I said, it's just completely random. The troops start to fade away right at the end but there we go. The Queen's there to finish off that Archer Tower and what a beautiful raid it was as I've said about five times. I don't know why I keep saying that guys but there we go. Queen's ability just used. And that is the treble. We are taking home only 14 trophies. Very unfortunate. Imagine if that was like a big well of an offer. A 56 trophy offer. I would have been crying. I would have been absolutely crying.
So there it is, the Gollum Trap. What does Tony say about this? I would say, in a non-biased opinion, I would say it works like 50-50, guys. If you're a gambler and you want to have a chance at winning some extra defenses, winning some extra trophies, I would say give it a go. I would maybe even say, you know what, pull that out there and whack one of those big bombs in there. I'm going I'm to keep this base going. I'm going to see if we can get at least one win on it. And if we do, I will let you know. So please remember, guys, subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button down below. Don't forget to sub to my second channel. I will see you very shortly for another one, guys. Hope you're having a great weekend. Peace out.